Oh yeah, Picasso like really stole from African art. And some people talk about it as an African period that only lasted a couple of years. But I would say that it was his inspiration from African art that shifted him into the style that defined his most celebrated works well after that. Like in general, he owed everything to African artists because before his African period, he was making stuff like this. It's very different, it's very inventive for sure, but his people still look like he's making realistic humans, you know? And until Lambo, 1907, African period. Now he's playing with form and way more asymmetry. The rhythm is totally different. Apparently it starts one night at Gertrude Stein's house where Henry Matisse is here with the sculpture he has. Picasso becomes obsessed with it and like clutches it all night. And then his obsession grows when he goes to the museum which has all of these looted, stolen artifacts and art pieces from European imperialism in Africa. The inspirations are very clear. There's tons of memoir he writes, there's tons of friends that talk about it. But it doesn't end in 1909 because after that he enters his cubist period with Georges Braque and that's just also very clearly lifted from African art. I recommend this article, it's really really good. She writes that Picasso's use of two-dimensionality, fierce geometry, and flat planes was only possible because African sculptors and carvers had been mastering the art of abstraction for centuries. Later in life, Picasso started denying that anything he had made had anything to do with African art at all, and people seemed to kind of believe him. It was clear that he had very little respect for African people at all. The article reads that, according to the post-colonial scholar Simon Kakandi, Picasso was infatuated with the idea of what he considered primitive and tribal, but there is very little evidence that he showed interest in Africans as people and producers of culture. And he was a violent abuser, and that's, that's a whole thing too. I just want to throw that in there. Modern artists were trying to figure out how to unlearn the realism that art school had taught them. So they looked to be inspired by people like children, mentally insane, non-white, people that didn't go to school, like people of lower classes, used their art to figure out how to do abstraction and then took all the credit. And I don't know, here we are now.